Kenyans love their milk. The World Health Organization says that on average, they drink about 110 liters per person annually. But like much of Kenya's agro-processing industry, the dairy sector is still largely underdeveloped as a result of low milk production, disease, and poor quality fodder. At the macro level, the dairy industry contributes an estimated 14% of agricultural GDP. Now, according to Kenya's Dairy Board, this country produces more milk than any other country in Africa. But compared to European cattle, which produce about 35 liters of milk a day, and Israeli cattle, which produce about 75 liters of milk a day, Kenyan cattle produce an average of four liters of milk a day. Now, there's a new set of farmers here in Kenya who are trying to change the way farming has traditionally been done. Farmers like Peter Mathenge, who are introducing best practices. Best practices that include the watching of TV. Peter Madenge is a dairy farmer in Kenya's Rift Valley region, where almost 60% of the total milk in Kenya is produced. He calls himself an urban farmer, housing his cows in a 15 by 22 feet shed in an upper income estate here in Kenya's Nakuru town. He says his cows produce an average of 35 liters of milk per day because he keeps them relaxed, entertaining them with television and music. Music and activity like TV, it removes the animal's mind. So the animal is not stressed, the animal is comfortable, it's enjoyable, just like a human being. Uh, it uh, normally produces between 27 and 30. But when I introduce the the music system and whatever, the animal increased the milk. And I was given an assignment by one of the Dutch farmers in the Netherlands. Do it and you'll see for yourself. And in fact, I did it and I came to realize, in fact, he was talking the truth. It sounds unusual, but this is not a new idea. Researchers at the University of Leicester found that cows exposed to relaxing music produced 3% more milk. Madenge stands by this method. They are being fed at around 6 in the morning, afternoon, and 8 at night. And they are being fed according to their body weight. If animal is 500, which it should take 10% of the body weight, so the animal is being fed at 50 kilograms, subdivided into three areas. Madenga sells his milk to supermarkets and individual clients at higher prices than other dairy farmers because he says the quality and taste is better. He also trains students and farmers on how to rear cattle on small pieces of land and in towns and still maintain hygiene and waste disposal. I harvested the gas. I send it to the to the resident, those people who are residing within. Then the biosalary is the byproduct of the biogas. It goes all the way up to the, that side the corner. There is a septic where it goes. Now I correct it from there and I take it to the farm where I grow silage and I grow other kind of crops. Dairy continues to be one of Kenya's fastest growing sectors. Today, investors are queuing to pump money into its dairy industry, with billionaires such as Nigeria's Dangote looking to produce dry milk and other dairy products for local and export markets. Experts believe the sector will more than double its growth in the next 10 years, but only if its farmers grow along with it. Uchiyo Koronkwa, CCTV.